Wakanda Forever. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we will be unboxing the Mezco 112 Collective Black Panther. And you can get this at www.dstartoys.com. for 10% off. Essentially, you take eight bucks off the cover price of 80 bucks. Now, before you buy it, obviously you want to know what you're going to get. So today we'll be unboxing it and we're going to see exactly what's going on with this figure. So enough of me talking. Let's just get this guy open. And as you can see, you get this beautiful window box here. <laughs> he's covered in plastic, but as we open him up, he's not going to be covered in plastic anymore. Let's see how he is. Pretty excited about this one. Just saw Endgame this weekend, so I can't wait to open all of these. Check them out. Ooh, packed real tight. And there we go. Wow, let's take this guy out. Let's look closely at this figure. Okay, so, obviously with all Mezcos, you have a really tight, like, uh, suit going on here. So you have that realistic fabric. As you can, sell, you can tell on the fabric, it is, like, a little bit textured. So you have that um, vibranium armor type look. And of course you have a matte finish here on the face, looking really nice. Ooh, really like this one, as you can see right here. And let's look at the boots here. Of course we have the standard, uh, I guess not really boots, I guess it's part of the, uh, of the whole suit, the feet and stuff like that. I really like the finish on the silver, but besides that, he's practically just like a black and silver figure. Um, nothing too outstanding about him except for the suit that's really nice and the matte finish on the helmet. He's just really dark. I was expecting a little bit more details on the suit, but regardless, I still think it looks really good. I really like that. So yeah, when it comes to paint and detail, pretty much a matte finish black suit, which is really skin tight, and we got nice silver accents, and I really like how this mask looks. You got the metallic silvers are really, really outstanding. When it comes to anything, Mezco looks really good, in my opinion. So, now that we've gone over paint and detail, let's try to move some of this stuff aside so we can go, go on into the next phase, which is articulation and scale. So, I got my trusty ruler here. We're going to see how tall he stands. He's standing at about six and a quarter inches, and of course, we've got to compare him with other action figures from different lines. We got SH Figure Arts uh, Goku here. This is the real deal. Let's put him next to Black Panther there. And of course, you got to compare it with Marvel Legends. We got Captain America, the Endgame version. As you can see, they scale really well as well. And just because we have an SH Figure Arts Captain America, just to see how he scales with SH Figure Arts. And to my surprise, they actually do scale well, as you can see. They're about the same height, I believe. Correct me down in the comments down below if I am wrong. Uh, but to me, they look really good together. So it looks like what I love about Mezcos is that they usually scale really well with other action figures from different lines. Uh, yeah, I, I just really like them. Anyway, let's move on to articulation. We have an up and down here at the ankle. Got looks like we have a double jointed knee right there. Probably a ball joint there. Can't really see all the joints because it's all covered by that that uh, cloth armor. And of course we have a nice ab crunch, not too much of an ab crunch, but we do have a rotation there at the waist. We do have, we do have a joint here at the shoulder, bicep swivel, but not much because the clothes kind of hinder that. We have a double jointed elbow there, ball, ball and peg here at the wrist, and probably, yeah, so we just have one ball joint there at the neck. Looking to be above 20 points of articulation, so he's super articulated, so you can get all these solid action poses going on here. Let's see if we can get him in a solid action pose right there. And that looks really cool. I really like that. So now that we've done that, let's move on to accessories. Let's see what he comes with besides all this plastic. <laughs> uh, he does come with the vibranium shield and spear, which looks really good as well. I really like that, that looks cool. And the spear head so you can Let's see, so it does come off. I believe it should. Does it? <clears throat> if it does, that's a really tight fit. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
All right, well, I guess we'll look at it after I check out the manual and stuff. And we get a Chadwick Boseman head, which is something that rarely comes with um, Mezcos, I've noticed, like an unmasked face. I really believe they all should come with one, but, you know, we take what we can get. And this actually looks, whoa, really good. My goodness. That is well shaded. The eyes are really nice. You got a little five o'clock shadow going on here and the hair is really nice. So yeah, I'd have to say this is really cool. That is a really accurate face. Of course, that's my opinion. If you don't think so, let me know down in the comments down below. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got six extra hands, which we will show off at the end of the video. And it looks like we get a stand here. Of course, all Mezcos come with stuff on the bottom. So let's see what's on the bottom here. Of course, we have the classic Mezco uh, stand and the bag for all your stuff. So, of course, we're going to use this stand at the end of the video, but we're just going to look at it right now. And that looks pretty cool, I'd have to say. It's nice and shiny, and the stand can pretty much hold anything. Of course, here's the bag. So, let's talk about this. If you guys can give me a moment, I'm going to see if I can remove this because that is a really tight fit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, just as I thought, um, this actually doesn't come off. I honestly thought it did. I don't know why I thought it did, but it doesn't. Uh, he does hold just these by themselves as his weapon. So let's get those on. Maybe something like that. No, no, no. I did it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Like this. <laughs> come on. Come on, Dex, you know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. I'm a professional unboxer. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that easy. So what I'm gonna try to do is, since the hands are quite bendy, I'm gonna put this on first. And then, just a quick tip for those guys, for you guys out there that is having trouble with this, this should be the way to do it, I believe. You have to put the hand on first, and then you could probably plug in the, uh, the arm. All right, so there you have it. We have a shielded look there, and then we have him with his spear. And that looks really rad. Oh, I really like that. That looks so cool. So you have a shielded look right there you know i honestly thought this could be removed i really wish that could be removed that would have been a really cool like just the regular staff to for him to hold but yeah all right uh so last thing we got to do we got to remove this head this head and let's put the chadwick bozeman head on and there you have it let's look close at him right there and that looks really good i think that looks really good what do you guys think wow i really like that so Let's come up with a conclusion for this figure now that we've fully unboxed him and we've outfitted him and checked out all the accessory. Is he worth the 80 bucks? Like most Mezcos, yeah, just because of the fact that they have so much detail and I love the cloth clothes and stuff like that. Now, if that's not your thing and you just want like a pure plastic figure, then maybe this isn't worth it for you. Is this the best Black Panther Cinematic Universe figure? Uh, I haven't seen the SH Figure Arts one, so I don't know. <laughs> but in my opinion, since I've only held the Marvel Legends one and I own one, I think this one's definitely better than the Marvel Legends one. Well, obviously, because you're paying a lot more and you're getting a lot more details and stuff like that, so it is better. But is it better than the SH Figure Arts one? I don't know. I'll let you guys discuss that down in the comments down below. All right, so if you guys want to purchase this, you can get it at a discount using DSTAR01 at www.dstartoys.com. That is my website that directly supports me and this channel. And uh, yeah, that's all that we have for today. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and, this, and subscribe. We get a weakness. You, guys you gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
stroke just went viral.